Hey everybody, in this video, we'll see how to connect Zoho Books with SBI. With the SBI Connected Banking, you will be able to initiate payments to your vendors from Zoho Books, reconcile transactions effortlessly, and stay updated with your real-time account balance. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. Before integrating, ensure that you have a corporate current account with SBI, a Zoho Books account, and admin access to SBS Internet Banking Portal for the user setting up the integration. As a first step, let's initiate the integration. To do that, log into Zoho Books. Go to Settings and click Vendor Payments under Online Payments. Click Setup Now below SBI. In the pop-up that appears, read and agree to the terms and conditions of the integration. And click Initiate Integration. A unique ID will be generated and the integration will be initiated from Zoho Books. Now, let's configure the integration in SBI Banking Portal using this ID. Log into the Yono SBI Portal. First, you will need to create an application. To do this, go to the API Banking module in the left sidebar. Go to the New Applications tab to add Zoho Books as the ERP. This will have four sections. Let's look at it one by one. In the Onboarding Details section, select the ERP type as Aggregator ERP. Select the ERP provider as Zoho Corporation Private Limited from the drop-down. In the ERP provider unique ID, enter the unique ID generated in Zoho Books and click Validate. Enter the admin user's corporate email address. Note that this address will be used for API banking-related alerts and notifications. The corporate ID or CIF number will be autofilled from the portal. Then click Proceed. You will be taken to the API Details section where you will need to select Payments from the API Group drop-down. Once you select Payments, you will be prompted to select the Authorization Mode and Individual API. Based on your corporate account type, either STP or non-STP will be selected by default. If STP is selected, the payment will be initiated directly from Zoho Books. If non-STP is selected, the payment will be initiated from Zoho Books but will have to be authorized again at the SBI portal. Select all the APIs in the individual API section. Then click Proceed. Your details will be saved and you will be moved to the next section which is the Transaction Details section. In this section, you can add transaction user details. If there are multiple users in the SBI portal, you can add them to access the integration. Enter the name, mobile number and click Add User. This information will be used for transaction processing and OTP authentication. Note that you will be able to add only 25 users to the SBI portal. Once done, click Proceed. You will be directed to the Preview and Submit section where you can review all the details you provided. Mark this box to agree to the terms and conditions and click Submit. That's it, you have submitted the application. An onboarding reference number will be generated. If you are an individual user in the SBI portal, your application will be processed immediately and you can proceed to sync your account details. In case of multiple users, you need to approach the home branch or contact the relationship manager for further processing. To do so, go to API Banking and click the View Status tab. Here, you can view the status of the application and will have the option to download or print and share the omnibus document with them. Once the onboarding process is completed, you can sync the account details of your users in the SBI portal. Go to the Account Details Sync with Aggregator tab. Verify the details and click Sync Data with Aggregator. Once the details have been synced, click Proceed. To continue initiating payments and configuring feeds, you will need to generate the integration token. To generate the integration token, go to the Token Management window, select the expiry period and the expiry date for the token. When the generation token has expired, you can generate a new token to continue initiating payments and configuring feeds. Once the token is generated, sync the token with Aggregator. The token will be synced with Zoho Books. Once you've configured the integration on the bank's portal, you can complete the setup. To do so, log into Zoho Books. Go to Settings and click Vendor Payments. Here, click Complete Setup. Enter the mobile number registered with SBI. 
the OTPs for the initiated transaction will be sent to this number. Then click Submit. That's it, you have successfully completed the integration. Next, let's add your bank account to fetch bank feeds into Zoho Books. To do so, go to Settings and click Vendor Payments. Click Configure Bank Feeds adjacent to SBI. Select the SBI account and the date from which you want to import the bank feeds. Then click Add. Before making payments to vendors, you will have to add beneficiaries in SBI. To do so, log into the SBI portal. Go to the Manage Beneficiary section. Click SBI Beneficiary or Other Bank Beneficiary depending on the vendor's bank account details. Enter the required details and click Submit or Confirm. The beneficiary will be added to SBI. After adding the beneficiary's bank detail to the portal, you should also include them in your Zoho Books account. Go to the Purchases module and select a vendor. Click the More drop-down and select Add Bank Account. Enter the vendor's bank account details in the pop-up and click Save. Once added, you can initiate payments to the vendors. Let's see how it works. Go to Purchases and select Bills. Select the bill for which you need to make the payment. Click Pay via SBI button at the top. In the pop-up that appears, enter the payment details. Enter the OTB sent to your mobile number to authorize the transaction and proceed to make the payment. You can also make bulk payments for the bills. Go to the Payments Made module and click Plus New at the top right corner. Select a vendor and all their associated bills will be listed here. Select Initiate Payments via SBI and enter other details. Then click Initiate Payment. The payment will be processed from Zoho Books. Now, let's see how you can set authorization limits and provide access rights for the users to approve the initiated transactions. Note that this step is applicable for non-STP authorization mode where we have multiple users in SBI portal and only the SBI portal's admin will be able to add approvers and set limits. To set authorization limits, log into Yono SBI portal. Go to the Manage Account section in the left sidebar and go to Authorization Limit. Select the account number, enter the transaction limit, authorization type and click Go. Select the user and click Submit to set the limits. Go to the Download C7A form tab. Select the role ID and click Download. Then, share the downloaded form with your bank. The changes will take effect after the bank reviews and approves the details. Once approved by the bank, you can allow the users to approve the initiated transactions. To allow the users to approve the initiated transaction, go to the Manage Account section in the left sidebar and go to Access Rights. Select a user to provide access rights and click Go. Select Authorizer in the Access Right drop-down and click Confirm. The users can then authorize the transactions initiated in Zoho Books. The users with approval access will be able to approve the payment at the portal. Go to the Payments and go to Initiate slash Authorize tab. Review the payment details and click Approve. Enter the OTP sent to your registered number to authorize a transaction. Then click Confirm. The payment will be approved. You can check the status of the payment in the report section. Since this is a user-level integration, you will have to provide access to users from Zoho Books and allow them to initiate payments. To add users, go to Settings and click Vendor Payments. Click the More icon and select Manage Users. In the pop-up that appears, select the users who can initiate payments using the SBI integration. Note that users you add here also need to be added to the bank's portal to access the integration. They will be identified based on the mobile number they enter in Zoho Books and not the email they use to access the SBI portal. Then click Add Users. You will also be able to revoke access for users by clicking this icon. Once you provided them access, they can access the integration. Read and agree to the terms and conditions of the integration. Go ahead and click Proceed. 
enter the mobile number that will be used to access the integration. If you no longer want your Zoho Books account to be connected with SBI, you can choose to disable the setup for all the users if you are an admin. If you are not the admin and you are a user in Zoho Books, you will only be able to disable the integration for you. Other users will be able to access the integration. To disable the integration, under SBI, click Disable. Go ahead and disable the integration. And that's a wrap for our video on Zoho Books SBI integration. If you have any queries, contact us at bankingintegration at zohofinance.com. Thanks for watching.